Paige, this is Nick Kieser from the College Heights Herald. So, you know, you're back on the court, you know, it's been almost 11 months. So how did you feel being back out there and what did you see against UAB? Um, it was felt great to be back there and just playing through teammates, staying together and feeling like it, like all this practice is finally amounting to something. Um, it didn't matter really the competition. It was just I was just happy to play and be out there. Paige, to come out and uh, play like you guys did, you know, it just what does that do for you guys going forward as you shift gears now and start preparing for the spring season? Um, for me, it's a learning process. Like I'm, this is gonna be fun to watch the film and like see where we need to improve and where, where what's the next step, I guess, and that's gonna be really fun. So I'm excited for that. Hey, this is Nick again. So you finished, I believe, second um, in points after today's uh, first match. So do you think you're starting yourself off on a good note after being back now? Uh, yes, it is a good note, but there's still a lot ahead. There's still a lot to improve, so. <laughs> From WBKO, just uh, how does it feel to finally be back out on the court after, you know, really almost a year of not getting the chance to play? It's like a breath of fresh air. We finally get to play different competition and other people besides each other. Like we play each other in practice every day and inner squad scrimmages. And so it was just nice to play someone else. This is Nick from the College Heights Herald. So, you know, I think Jessica said it best, you led in some of those categories. So what's, gonna, what's it gonna take for you to just continue to play that way moving forward? hard work and practice and continuing to work on things I need to work on. Like for me personally, I didn't feel like I played like the stats showed otherwise, but I know I can do better and limit my errors and just little things that you guys may not see. So I have a lot to improve on and yeah. So Lauren, just a, uh, looking through this first game, what were some things that maybe you saw from the team that you really liked and has you, you know, really excited for competition uh, in the spring? I loved how we stayed together. And even though we were struggling in the third set, we still maintained that level of energy and we didn't let up. So we kept our foot on the gas the whole time. And that was the really exciting part because that's really important to maintain throughout the season next year. Lauren, this is Nick again. Um, you know, moving forward throughout the rest of the day, what do you want to use the, these next couple of games for? Is it more or less just a uh, retooling for you guys? I'm sorry, what was that? Is, it, is the rest of the matches throughout the rest of the day, is it more of a retooling for you guys after this first game? Just like figuring out like kind of other ways that we can attack people. And, um, just since it's an exhibition, you know, can yeah. we use it in different ways? Well, this next game, we're going to use it to change. We're going to change our lineup a little and like see what works and what doesn't work. Like we're going to use what we've been working on in practice more. So this is just to see what else we can do and what can better our team. And then Lauren, just how beneficial do you think it is to have, you know, those exhibition matches where you can try it, you know, you can try certain things in your lineup, make some changes. Um, you know, how important is it to have those, uh, those types of games? It's really important because we're playing other teams besides ourselves. So we're so used to playing each other and we know each other's tendencies. So changing lineups and trying different things against different opponent, opponents will really help us, not just like on the court, but mentally and knowing what we're supposed to do. Avery, this is Nick Kieser with the Call Tides Herald. Um, so following your first match, like uh, Jessica said, how are you feeling? Um, well, I was super nervous on the court, but now it's kind of like washed over and I feel more calm. And I think we all did pretty well for like actually playing our first match of the season. And uh, Avery, just how does it feel? Um, you know, you guys were supposed to have a, a match earlier that that got canceled. You're finally able to take the court again. Just kind of what was that feeling like today? Um, it was really good. Our Mercer match. Um, we were all super like devastated, but this match we were so happy because we all could play together and actually like play against somebody different. Avery, and then with the more games that you guys have that's kind of more or less practice, what do you want to work on personally for yourself? <laughs> A lot actually. Um, 
I have gotten way better like since um COVID has actually been a blessing for me because I've been able to like improve my game so much like if we were to have a season I would not like be where I am right now but I still have a lot more to improve so I just really just all around my entire game I need to improve on. You talked about COVID kind of being a blessing that gave you oppor opportunity to really work on, you know, maybe some little things that you don't always necessarily have the time to focus on. Do you feel like as a team overall, that was beneficial for everyone to be able to get that extra time? Yes. Um, one of our freshmen, Cam Mosley, she is just totally different than how she came in because she's getting constant touches all the time that she wouldn't be able to get in like a regular fall season. So us having like a spring season now has really helped all of us improve our game. You're muted again if you're talking. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Um, so, you know, what, did, what were some things that you saw from your team in that, in that first game that really kind of excites you for going forward in the spring? Um, I'll really, all of it. Our serving has just gotten so much better. Um, our passing has been really good, just all of us. And then our um, – communication together we've been working really hard on communicating more and just picking each other up and like really we just took a lot of strides in this game Avery and then um how is it being playing with the uh, upperclassmen who sort of you know had a they led you guys to a big historic year last year I know it's a big it's a team effort but you know what's it like you know playing with them and then you know kind of having the season underway now um well in practice they like always are constantly talking to you. You can ask them any type of question. They'll help you through it. And then in games, they're just always there to pick you up and to be like, hey, I know you did this, but try this. Or just they're constantly giving you feedback to make you better. So like basically like you just look up to them as an underclassman and you just want to be them like when you get there.